Improving our relationships with others will happen automatically when we have faith in a higher power and we rely on His power and not our own. Working with others and thinking less of ourselves, not thinking we are less than, helps deflate our inevitable ego from taking charge. Looking back after living a more selfless life, we realize we were our own problem. Drinking and other instant gratification behaviors are distant memories. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, faith in a higher power that is not us is how we transformed from drunkards to miracles. November 1st, thought for the day. I have hope, that magic thing that I had lost or misplaced. The future looks dark no more. I do not even look at it, except when necessary to make plans. I try to let the future take care of itself. The future will be made up of today's and today's, stretching out as short as now and as long as eternity. Hope is justified by many right nows, by the rightness of the present. Nothing can happen to me that God does not will for me. I can hope for the best as long as I have what I have and it is good. Have I hope? Meditation for the day. Faith is the messenger that bears your prayers to God. Prayer can be like incense, rising ever higher and higher. The prayer of faith is the prayer of trust that feels the presence of God, which it rises to meet. It can be sure of some response from God. We can say a prayer of thanks to God every day for His grace, which has kept us on the right way and allowed us to start living the good life. So we should pray to God with faith and trust and gratitude. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may feel sure of some response to my prayers. I pray that I may be content with whatever form that response takes. When we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, we didn't know it at the time, but we took a leap of faith by doing so. Without our complete surrender, we would have continued on with our cycle of getting drunk, swearing off, committing to doing better next time, not drinking for a period of time, then going out on an even bigger bender, culminating with a hangover and disbelief that it happened again. By saying we are powerless, honesty permeates our delusion and somehow we find ourselves listening to someone who found the solution to our problem. We know we must be insane to keep doing what we know is harmful and will ultimately kill us. And up until now, we didn't conceive of a solution, let alone one that is so easy. We had resigned ourselves to go on to the bitter end, that of a miserable death. By placing our reliance on a higher power, we are relieved of the stress of trying to control everything. We are now out of the results business. Faith tells us the future is not our concern. We've placed that with the God of our understanding, which frees up our attention to how we can presently help others. To get out of ourselves and be useful. Hope is the principle behind step two. We came to believe in a power greater than ourselves that could restore us to sanity. We sure hope he can. And we are obviously insane. So we continue with our sponsor's suggestion to work all the steps. Step two is a decision about God. Either he is or he isn't. What is our choice to be? Step three is a decision for God. We've said he exists. Now we have faith that he does exist and we exhibit that faith by turning all of ourselves over to his care. If we didn't have faith, our decision would be empty. We would be lying to ourselves. The principle behind step three is faith. Faith is a form belief in something for which there is no proof. Yet we know we feel our higher power's presence in our lives. He's made us a miracle. Our goal is to deepen that connection with our higher power by prayer, meditation, and being useful to others in order to be less selfish. 
we do the next right thing and we don't worry about the past or what will happen tomorrow because we have had a spiritual awakening that removed our compulsion to drink with little effort on our part. He did for us what we could not do for ourselves. He was waiting for us to open our hearts and minds and ask for help. We are grateful for our struggles and for our liberation. Consider, faith in a higher power that is not us is how we transformed from drunkards to miracles. November 1st, thought for the day. I have hope, that magic thing that I had lost or misplaced. The future looks dark no more. I do not even look at it, except when necessary to make plans. I try to let the future take care of itself. The future will be made up of today's and today's, stretching out as short as now and as long as eternity. Hope is justified by many right nows, by the rightness of the present. Nothing can happen to me that God does not will for me. I can hope for the best as long as I have what I have and it is good. Have I hope? Meditation for the day. Faith is the messenger that bears your prayers to God. Prayer can be like incense, rising ever higher and higher. The prayer of faith is the prayer of trust that feels the presence of God, which it rises to meet. It can be sure of some response from God. We can say a prayer of thanks to God every day for His grace, which has kept us on the right way and allowed us to start living the good life. So we should pray to God with faith and trust and gratitude. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may feel sure of some response to my prayers. I pray that I may be content with whatever form that response takes. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.